Hello, everyone, and welcome to Metro TV. Um, I'm here with Marjorie Moss. She is the executive director for Share Omaha. Marjorie, thank you for joining me today again. Thank you, and it's always so nice, so nice to be in a room with you um, talking about our community. Yeah. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about Share Omaha in general, because we're going to dive into some, some really deep questions. But what is Share Omaha? Well, Share Omaha, we actually launched, it, we're, 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 we're still newer, right? So we launched in January of 19 to be a community conduit between people who want to make a difference in the community and nonprofits that are providing those opportunities. So we engage people as far as volunteerism, cash donations, an event calendar, a rich event calendar, as well as Amazon shopping lists. So really any way that somebody wants to start a relationship with a nonprofit or a cause or give to a crisis that's happening for our community, um, Share Omaha really provides that the means and the tools to do so. Yeah. So we're just going to like just going to dive right into that because with current events happening in our community, especially kind of over the last couple of weeks, um, how can people, what are you doing? I mean, how are you pushing information out there? And then I think, how can people help? It took us a second to figure out what our role was in this. Um, absolutely, everybody on the Share Omaha team is saddened, troubled, upset, processing, thinking, learning. But we realize that we are not the thought leaders when it comes to these matters and these discussions. What we are is a tool. What we are is a connection vehicle for people to, to figure out how they're going to address these issues on their own and in their own time and in their own way. And so what we did was we actually composed a page that took everybody, not everybody, that, that, that we actually polled and reached out to certain um certain members in our network uh, at Share Omaha, member nonprofits, I should say, sure. that are really on the front lines of this, of these current events. Um, so you'll think, you'll hear, if you go to shareomaha.org slash act, you're going to see uh, our statement related to how, how this is a time to listen, think, act, and serve. And so we say that it's we're working toward a better metro and we we listed out organizations that have said, yes, we are in the front lines of this conversation and we want to be available for people to know that these are ways that they can give back immediately. Um, and there's some great examples on that website, too. So, I mean, do you I mean, I, I do you feel comfortable um, again? Do you, can you shout out for a few of those places? I mean, obviously people can go to your website, but I would love to just like, if you could just say, these are a few of the nonprofits that really are on the front lines. Well, and we wanted to represent a cross section. So there is, there's Black and Pink, an organization that's dedicated to LGBTQIA plus um, representation and also um working at working with the le the legal legal the legal system to figure out how to how to best work with those that have been incarcerated and yeah. and their bailout fund is listed on our website we also have in common community development center that said our issues our mission um, is going to yield to black and pink. So you'll see both of those organizations are reflecting for the same fund. And I think that's actually remarkable um, that two organizations in the community are focused on that work um, and focused on supporting that work. Um, also, you'll see First Responders Foundation. You'll see PACE, the, pol the, the, the police um, sporting initiative. Um, you'll see Free Weights and Freedom. Um, organizations that are supporting our first responders, but also you'll see organizations that are very focused on inclusion and diversity conversations. So inclusive communities is well represented on that page. And Girls Inc., I love this. Girls Inc. has a link to increase their library um, as it pertains to um, the diversity discussion. And so if you want to go on Amazon and buy those books that the girls are going to need, 
there's a link for that as well as their team, their, their team leadership program. So supporting that through cash. So there's so many opportunities. If you want to give cash, if you want to um, be part of advocacy, if you want to um, increase um, just the knowledge base of our community, all of those opportunities are, are on the shareomaha.org slash act page. Thank yeah. you, Andy. Let me call out those. Yeah, no, absolutely. And the thing too, I mean, I mean, first of all, we've known each other for, for years, but, um, and just over the last few months, everything keeps changing. I mean, a month ago we're, we're, we're dealing with COVID-19 and then we've got these other issues in the community that are so important and it's just, it's just, everything is changing, but we do have that nonprofit base that really serve those in our community. And, you know, being able to go to your website and figure out, okay, how do I contribute to, to these um, nonprofits? Because I just feel like every, we're going to keep changing and evolving. And there's, there, there's, no, there's not ever going to be an end in sight. I mean, to me, that's just not the, the, the point of anything, that there being an end in sight. But it's like, how do we put that, push that information out to the community? Well, and that's why I feel so grateful to work at an organization that's trying to pivot and improve and be on the forefront of people figuring out significance for themselves and their families and their workplaces in the midst of all of this change. And technology is a huge piece of that. And we found that even with our COVID-19 response work at shareomaha.org slash at home, that people really wanted to still be active in the community. And we know that virtual volunteerism is now a trend in the nonprofit world and pivoting events to be virtual is definitely the way that we are still trying to connect with our communities. And so I am just grateful that we are able, that Share Omaha is able to be a part of that conversation and figuring out how the community is going to look different. Right. Um, in the midst of all of this change, yeah. um, but th but that the spirit of our community is has not changed. People right. still want to be engaged. People still want to be part of improvement. People still want to work toward a better a better community. Yeah. So in the last minute that we have, um, I do want to talk. You have a high hygiene drive going on, and you know, we're gonna. Th this is this interview is going to post on the 16th of um, June. I mean, we'll start pushing this, this interview out the 16th of June, but I think hygiene is just always in need. So just talk briefly to that because that's super important. Well, Share Omaha is wrapping up a campaign that took literally a dozen plus nonprofit organizations um, and their hygiene needs for their clients and uh, aggregated um, Amazon wish list. So if you go to shareomaha.org slash hygiene, you will see that there is an Amazon wish list dedicated to all of these products being delivered to one location and then distributed to those member nonprofits. And it's just the need for, for nonprofits to still serve their clientele has not changed. Yeah. And, and many of these organizations Many of these organizations are mentoring organizations, college access organizations, and you know they're 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 working with populations and and community members that maybe aren't the first organizations you're thinking of related to basic needs, um, but they but they know they're still in contact in that crucial role of connecting their clientele to more resources. So we're grateful to be part of that. Yeah. Well, Marjorie, thank you so much for coming on Metro TV and chatting with me. You know, we're going to keep having these conversations, and I just really appreciate everything that Share Omaha. Um, you'll be celebrating two years here, you know, before before you know it. Um, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So I know. Yeah. So thank you again for joining me today, Andy. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and have a great day. And we will be right back. 